one rule to getting organized when it comes to your clothes and your makeup is you have to purge before you splurge. So here again with our tips on saving time and money, Shona Jensen, everyone. <laughs> To, to help us uh, purge a little bit. And so yeah. we're going to start with clothing. Let's. There's kind of like two major areas that kind of get overwhelmed for some people, especially us ladies. Yes. Um, and one is clothes. Okay. So most people's closets look something like this. Okay. And you know, I'm trying not to judge you, but I may be just a little bit. It's a little um, sloppy. No, it's not bad, but it's so easy to refine this. So yeah. for starters, all of this assortment of all these different hangers all over the place, they have to go. Yeah. Visually, it's very, very cluttered. They don't function well. They don't hold your clothes properly. They absolutely have to go. Also, 1987 calls. <laughs> oh, look, it matches your dress. Oh, my God. <laughs> for my baton costumes. Yes, I did for my figure skating costumes. <laughs> that's, awesome. <laughs> that's hilarious. So we want to take everything out of the closet. Yeah. And that's a lot of work and everyone's like, oh my gosh, really? Yes. Yes. Because it's too easy to say, oh, I might keep that, I might keep that. And then you pick one thing out. Yeah. Everything comes out. You sort away for giveaway to donate, yes. or uh, you know if it's really soiled or really torn and stuff, then it it's has gone. to go into the trash or maybe recycling if it's the right kind of fabric. Mm -hmm. And so get rid of it, and you'll see what you're left with. Okay? okay. So over here, when we go to the other closet, once you know what you're left with, you know where your holes are yes. in your wardrobe. Where, what do I need to fill in? Okay. And now I know a lot of people's wardrobes are bigger than this than what's here, but this is kind of that starter position of where you want to be. And there's some key pieces that you should have that are in good shape, mm -hmm. that fit you. Yes. You know, I know we might have this, you know, white shirt from a while ago and it just doesn't button up or, right. or it's too old <laughs> on the contrary, it's too big now. Yeah. And so have make sure these staples fit perfectly well and are clean and are always pressed and kind of in your closet and you will always have something to wear. Okay. So the basics to start off with. Oh, and the hangers here. Do you see how all They're these all hangers perfect. they all match with the same kind. These are those velvety or flocked if you know what they are hangers. Mm -hmm. They're skinny profile. They are by far the best hangers to have in your closet. Yep. And if you can get them all the same color, do that. You know, yes. make a choice to make things look pretty. Pleasing to the eye. Yeah. So we want to have a, a good white t-shirt. Yeah. We want to have a white casual button-down shirt. Mm -hmm. We want to have a chambray blue or denim yep. shirt. Okay. And if you notice, I'm putting all of these grouped the same, all the tops that are the same color mm -hmm. together. And then we're going into, we want some kind of a blouse to take it up a notch. Black or white would be good, just some kind of a neutral. Yeah. A striped shirt is good, whether it be a t-shirt or whether it be a sweater, something that can be layered easily under things or worn yeah. on their own. Um, a black dress, one Always. that you feel good and one that fits you well. No cute. matter what your shape is, it doesn't matter. A black dress is going to take you from day to night. Mm -hmm. A blazer or a jacket of some kind. Now, this is like a motorcycle style jacket because if you're in a more casual, if you have a casual life yep. or you work in a casual office or creative office, this type of thing could do double duty. Um, and then you want to have a pair of dark jeans. Yeah. Okay, that fit you feel hot. Like hot in these jeans. You can rock these S to smoking. soccer practice. You can walk yes. and put these on date night. They're your do all dark jeans. And get rid of all the ones that don't work. Yeah, get rid of them. Don't they just make you feel bad it. when you look at them and you never totally. wear them anyway. So just get rid of them, you know? Yeah. A pair of black pants mm -hmm. that can take you into a professional or up a level. Um, a v neck sweater in a neutral and a black skirt. Okay. okay, good. These are the basics, and once you have all of these items in your wardrobe, you're actually, you're fine. You are, and then, and then add the color in and add, add the trend the pieces in, that kind of thing later. Totally. Okay? Now, the second one is our beauty products. Yes. And actually, let me say, I got all of those staples at Joe Fresh. Yes. And because I'm a PC Insider mm -hmm. for $99 a year, I get 20% back in points. Nice. On all of those. So you're splurging in a sense, but not really because you're getting all those points back you can put towards things you need. And you okay? have all your basics. Yeah, and you've got all your basics covered. So okay, it's, good. I mean, I just love that program. Okay. So now when it comes to cosmetics and your beauty, there's yeah. stuff that you're going to have to get rid of. We, you have to get rid of cosmetics. It's not even yeah. just the clutter, which is totally the problem. Speaking of clutter. Speaking of clutter, I know most drawers have, you know, there's no organizers. You've got, you know, hand sanitizer mixed in with brushes, etc. Yeah. We're going to 
purge all of that. You okay. have to go through every single one of those things, whether it be a sponge, is it a good one, is it dirty, is it not, is it expired, let's just toss oh, it all. it's all gone. It's all gone. And loose uh, Q-tips uh, yes. and all of that stuff, sponges, right? Now. I know, they're laughing because they're all like, oh yeah, I have that totally. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. do I. You want to corral all those things, yeah. so that's the trash, be done with it. Okay, bye-bye. Now, bye. when it comes to organizing your, this is all out here so you can see it, but these things can be applied within the drawers as well. You want to corral everything. Okay. The jewelry that you wear on a, on a regular basis could be on a tray. Mm -hmm. You've got, you know, your little dish to catch your earrings. Cute. Whether that's on your vanity or not. When it comes to restocking your makeup, yes. there's those staples, again, that you want to have. You don't need 45 different foundations, okay? <laughs> Buy one that matches your skin perfectly, maybe two yeah. uh, for summer and winter, but you want a foundation, you want a, um, concealer. a good concealer, yeah. a really killer mascara. Yep. And when it comes to the expiry dates, you want to look, do you see that little symbol at the bottom here? All makeup comes with this little symbol. And it looks like a little jar with a date in it. This one has a 24M. What that means is after you start using this product, yeah. it expires 24 months after its use, or three after months, or six months, it. or whatever it might be. Okay. So pay attention to your expiry dates, because we're dealing with things that can, can use bacteria. They can right. bring bacteria with it, like a mascara, or eyeliners. Got it. You want your basic lipsticks, and your palettes, and really good brushes. Yes. It's good. That's a good place to spend a little bit of money. And again, because I'm part of the Insider program, yeah. I got 20% points back in my beauty boutique okay. purchases and awesome. free shipping. Love free shipping. <laughs> um, and so I'm getting those points back again. So I'm putting, hey, my makeup's paying for groceries. <laughs> And that's right. the way it should be. That's yeah. the way it should be. Yeah. So get rid of all of the all of the bad. Uh, look at those expiry dates. Yeah. And that way you're not poisoning your eyelashes, which and is not a good thing. That's it. And stock up with the staples of the clothes and the staples of your makeup, yeah. and you're good to go. Purge and then splurge. Well,